when we give a drug, remember this is a de novo dose. They haven't gotten any of the drug yet. So we're going to start um, at zero. And then we give the first dose of drug and it goes up and it follows that pattern, right? This is absorption. And then we get to peak level and then we have elimination and distribution that get rid of it. And now once we start on this downward path, we're going to give the next dose. This is the next dosing interval. So now we get up, up, up and the absorption happens and we get to peak level and now we start to eliminate it and it gets distributed throughout the body and now at the end of that dosing interval we're going to give our third dose and look what happens as we do that the mean concentration is increasing after we get to four or five half lives after four or five half lives we now are at steady state. And what does steady state mean? Memorize this. Steady state means that when I give the next dose of medicine, it's not going to change the plasma level very much. It's not going to change the steady state concentration when I give that next dose. And similarly, if I'm a little late giving the dose, it doesn't really change the steady state concentration. And that's why the steady state is so important. Because if you've been on a drug for years, or weeks, or months, or whatever, you've been on a drug for a long period of time, you're at steady state. And so when I give the next dose of medicine, is it going to affect anything? If I'm giving a beta blocker, and I'm already at steady state, am I going to see the heart rate plummet? When I give that next dose, no, because I'm at steady state. And when I give the next dose, it doesn't appreciably change the concentration. And if I'm late giving the dose, it doesn't appreciably change the concentration because we're at steady state. That is such an important concept to understand as nurses that I want to really hound it into you. And we're going to talk about it again and again and again this semester. Okay. All right. Enough said. You're going to get a little more practice with that on your uh, tell me about it assignment that's due uh, after the first class. So start thinking about what that uh, steady state really means. And remember, these are half lives. This is a half life, right? So one half life. Then I give the next dose at the dosing interval. That's the second half life, the third half life the fourth half-life, after the fourth or fifth half-life, you're at steady state. 